answer? That one's actually hard to answer, to be honest. You know? Because what happens after you die? If you ask me that, I couldn't tell you because I'm alive. You know what I mean? So I generally don't know what's going to happen after I die. So I'm just preparing for that. And that's basically by living a, a fruitful life and just truly like wanting to um, be the best version of myself and making sure that I'm ready for that step. Death. For all those who are living, it is the only experience we are all guaranteed to have. When the heart stops, all life processes go out because there's no blood getting to the brain, to the kidneys and the liver, and we become lifeless and motionless. But that's just the time we've been described as dead. And we've all thought about it. What happens after that? Do you return to your creator? The place that you came from? Is your soul reborn to face new trials? Or is there an incomprehensible nothingness that awaits us all? Or maybe it's something else altogether. There are countless tales that have been told since the beginning of time that try and help us form some sort of truth. So we do our best to draw from these stories, add our experiences, and as a result, we create a sort of comfortable conclusion. But at the end of the day, nobody truly knows the answer to today's bigger question. What happens after you die? After you die, you essentially go into a higher dimension. So that would mean that, you know, if you experience time as a specific thing throughout your life, when you go into a higher dimension, you can see all of time at once. And you kind of exist in a place where you can't experience goodness or badness because you just have it all at once. So when you have this life, you come in and you like get the trip on your knee and get to experience things. But when you're in a higher dimension, it's just all happened at once and it all is happening and you just are a god that is everything. And then there's even higher dimensions from that where maybe you're creating universes all together and things like that. Uh, I believe if you're a good person, you get reincarnated. Whether you're a woman in this life, you become a man in the next life. So you get to experience everything different. And I think if you're a bad person, you come back as like a mountain or like rocks or trees because you were so shitty in your life before. So now you don't get to enjoy anything else. Those answers were perfect. Those are people who spoke confidently about ideas that aren't unheard of, but unique to their perspectives. The second answer in particular brought up the idea of being good or bad. What is good can be a topic for another episode, but a lot of the time what makes us choose to be good comes from the fear or unknown of what happens after we die. How will our souls be judged? And if we're not good, will we be condemned for eternity? Religions play a major role in how we view the afterlife, and those points of view were the most common when asked this question. Um, I'm a Christian, so I believe in God, and I think I believe in heaven, so I think after I die, I think that there is eternal life. I don't think that it just ends after being here on this world. Um, so yeah, I think that someday I will be in heaven with my creator. I don't think um, that it's just the ending after I die someday. Well, I believe that uh, there's, there's a nebula and you fool around for a while and then God picks you out and says, okay, it's your turn. We're gonna go through what you did in your life and how you responded to me and my promptings and you either go one way or another. <laughs> I'm not sure about the other. I don't think many people go that way. Um, I would say that we go to a heaven of some kind, you know? Um, we, we can't really know how that would look exactly, but there's definitely um, a higher being, there's a higher cause, there's, um, there's something higher up there. So I feel that we, that we go and get judged based on that. Opposing religions have been a cause of a lot of war in our history. We are not ignorant to that. But at the core of every religion, there's good for those who follow. Faith can bring peace to those who need it. And the communities, the friendship, the togetherness is healthy and healing. We met a man who says he struggled in the past. He says one day Jesus came to him and told him to stop worrying, that his soul will be saved. He says that is when he let his worries go, and he's been happy ever since. When God created man, he created at his own image, and God is eternal. 
So eternity is a, is a path that we have to cross after we die. Either we want to accept it or not, either we, we want to believe it or not, we are spirit that lives in a, in a body. So when our body divorced from our, divorced from our, our spirit, uh, our souls and our spirit goes to an eternal, an eternal uh, place, either Dalmatian or eternal condemnation or eternal salvation. The idea of your soul lasting for eternity doesn't have to be driven from a particular religion. Spirituality leaves room for many different perspectives. I believe in God, but not as one thing, not as an old man in the sky. I believe that what people call God is something in all of us. I'm not sure, but I think, I, I believe our energy goes somewhere, and if, you, if you're in a good place at the end of your life, then you'll go somewhere, your energy will be in a good place. And if it's, the, if it's negative, then you might go into a, an empty dark space, I think. So that's what I believe. Our energy continues on, whether you call it hell or, or heaven, it's just, just different names. I believe that after you die, the soul keeps on journeying. I think that there has to be something because, for, I'll, I'll give an example. Um, a mother and a child. That mother loves that child so much, and, and, and as does a father, but you can't, I feel you can't just die and have that love gone. There's got to be something else after. So I live for that, and I really believe the soul journeys after we pass. And I, and I, I think that gives me hope and, and uh, purpose on this earth. I think your spirit still lives and um, your body is just gone. It's there. If you're cremated, it's all ashes to ashes. And if you're buried, it's just sh shrink and just finish. But I think your spirit is still around. I want to take a second to introduce this gentleman. He saw us working on this episode, and he circled back to tell us a story about his friend. And I believe it is important to share, as it highlights an experience he had that changed his perspective into a more spiritual one. I just, there, there's, there's a story my friend told me. Like, his dad just died. And uh, what happened was, uh, he, before he died, he told him, that, uh, told him about uh, near-death experiences and, like, all these people that have them. And, like, his uh, dad, being, like, kind of a more devout Christian, was like, ah, I don't believe it, it sounds weird and all that. But then, you know, his dad dies. And then what happened? He told me this. He told me this on his dad's funeral, so I don't, I believe him. But what he said was that uh, he was, uh, his wife was pregnant, and he was looking up at her stomach. And he started, like, kind of, like, scaling up. She was, like, eight months pregnant. And all of a sudden he felt like whack. And all of a sudden his like eyes just like went zoom right into her stomach. And there it said, it's like almost a stencil, like NDE, which stands for near death experience. People, that's how people refer to it as. He saw it clear as day and he took a picture of it on her shirt and it, there it was. And he told me on his funeral. So like that was anecdotal, sure, but uh, that was pretty convincing for me, and you know, there's millions of near-death experiences. So I believe, I believe there is definitely like something afterlife. But I, my guess would be like some kind of energy, since energy can't be created or destroyed. I guess so. We have been talking about spirituality in some form for the better part of this episode, and it's because the better part of people, much more than we are showing today, answered similarly. And I'm glad because it's an amazing belief that brings them happiness. But some people do have an opposite perspective, and it's one that is just as comfortable to them. So I believe that what happens after you die uh, would be a lot of sadness, 
Um, but in terms of reincarnation or anything like that, I'm not a religious believer. So for me, I just think that you die and your family lives on and hopefully carries on your legacy. Uh, I think you just get buried in the ground and it's not much to it after that. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think you just underground, no thoughts. <laughs> no nothing. No nothing. No. I think that after you die, um, I don't really believe in uh, like an afterlife or anything like that. I, it's sort of related to like mindfulness and living in the moment. I really just believe that like we are here on this earth just out of coincidence and that we should make the most out of our like every day in our lives because once you die, that's it. We all stay ignorant to our mortality in one way or another. At various points in our lives, as our experience with death change, we re-conjure some kind of comfortable conclusion that meets the needs of our soul, and we continue to live our day-to-day -day life. But we all do think about death, and even those who are spiritual or religious. Everyone has some kind of different perception of what it looks like. After hearing all these answers, having this discussion, I just hope that whatever you believe happens after you die, happens to you. But that's just my perspective. What do you guys think happens after you die? Today I will be leaving you with one more answer. From a lady who says she had a near death experience. And maybe her perspective can help build your comfortable conclusion. But you know what happens after you die? I just want to talk to that too it. a little bit. Only because I was in a situation where I did nearly die. And so I felt that warmth and that white light that goes to the tunnel and what happens at the end of the tunnel. And I didn't quite get there and I was upset that I didn't get there. So I'm thinking there's something very warm and quiet and peaceful when you die. I think it's, it's, it becomes a beautiful experience.